Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the review for the Idle Cosmos. I'm going to compare it today to the Phase 2 because I feel these are both really controllable, really benchmark style bowling balls. And from what I've seen out of the Idle Cosmos so far, I was actually kind of surprised. I expected the Cosmos to be a little more angular and a little more defined reaction than the Helios is. And I actually find that I'm using the Cosmos more when I want to control the pattern and it's a lot rounder than the Helios is. Uh, I don't know if that's because of the nano load that's in the cover a little bit, or what it is exactly, but that's just where I've found that this strength of this ball is. I took it to World Games with me, and I used it there a lot, and when I needed a ball that was a little quicker, that's when I would actually transition into a Phase 2, and I'd start with the Cosmos instead. So, it's kind of a bit of an anomaly ball to me, but I'm really liking what I see out of it. It looks good on a variety of patterns. It's been incredibly adaptive to surface changes. I did put it back to the original box finish here. And my layout for both these balls is my standard symmetric layout, which is 4.5 by 5.5 by 2.5. You can see on the typical house shot, the idle cosmos looks pretty good from a few different angles. I was able to move across the lane. The only real issue I ran into is if I got it to the right too far, I would just get that weak hit like you'll see in some of these flat corner pins. But other than that, if I kept my angles a little tighter, kept it in the volume a little more, the ball looked pretty good. Like I said, the one big thing I'm liking about this ball is the versatility. Don't forget to check out imbowling.com and Bufa Bowling and use the promo code you see on the screen to get discounts at both of those websites. Supporting them helps support us and we appreciate all they do for us. Here you're going to see me with the Phase 2 playing in the similar parts of the lane that I was with the Cosmos. And you can see these comparison shots where they're back to back. They don't look drastically different on camera, but when I was actually throwing the shots, you could definitely feel the difference in the two. Like I said before, the Cosmos being a little rounder, a little smoother, but the Phase 2 just seems to clear the fronts just a hair more and is a little more angular down lane. They play really well off one another, but I would almost say for a league bag, they're probably too close together to have both. If there's one you prefer, or if you're a tournament bowler and want to have only a few bowling balls, maybe you pick one over the other, and not both. If you're someone who bowls a lot of tournaments and is capable of having a lot of bowling balls, then by all means, I think both of these play on the same type of patterns and give you enough shape difference that you're going to be able to have them in the same bag if you're not limited to how many bowling balls you can have there. I know some of the national tournaments, you're only allowed to have five or six, so you just gotta pick and choose where you wanna have these balls. As always, if you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bells so you know when we upload new videos. Make sure to keep an eye out for all the new content coming.